Hello, good morning everyone. Chào mọi người. Uh, xin như hôm nay muốn chia sẻ cái design của Hypergel. Cái này là French design with um, bomb coal encapsulation. So xin như muốn làm cái design này hôm nay. Is everybody ready? I love this design. Cái này rất là đơn giản and very easy to do. And I'm going to show you the step by step on how to do this with a tap Hypergel system. Hello Jenny, first one watching. Thank you so much everyone. Um, um, mọi người share cái video này dùng cho Cindy ha huh? ok so bây giờ Cindy sẽ share too give me one second while I share this video how do I do that yeah so uh, mọi người hôm nay có khỏe không em biết là bây giờ nó hơi um, trẻ chút xíu Cindy đang làm live nhưng mà um, em muốn chia sẻ cái uh, cách làm French design ha huh? Okay, so the design that we'll be doing today is basically using the TAP Hypergel system and we're going to be encapsulating dried flowers. It's a very easy technique to do. It's very similar to how you would encapsulate with acrylic. So, nhiều lần mình biết là mình bỏ bông khô vô cái bóng tay with um, acrylic you must and you said you say inside you hyper gel huh so everything that you can do with acrylic system you can also do with the tap hyper gel system and that's the thing that i really want to focus and show you guys all the different technique and the step by step if you guys are not used to the hyper gel system yet um, it's a very nice product because everything is already formulated inside the tube. So, Cindy nói là cái hypergel system này đó, nó rất là dễ xài tại vì hết cái sản phẩm này nó, nó không cần, um, mình không cần mix vô với cái, um, với cái liquid khác. Mình chỉ xài cái tube này, cái tube này có cái, cái loại gel trong cái tube. Cái này mình push jam and then mình xài liền. So, Cindy rất là thích cái sản phẩm này. So today I'll be doing the tutorial in English and in Vietnamese. So for anybody who's watching that would like to ask any questions or comment, you can share in English. Uh, so Cindy hỏi là mọi người muốn comment vô, uh, mọi người comment tiếng Mỹ dùng cho Cindy ha, để cho Cindy đọc. Okay, so Cindy sẽ bây giờ bắt đầu. Uh, after Cindy Salma, I'll share you with you guys all the different colors that we have with the Hypergel system. So for now, this is our bridal collection, our neon collection, and then our really popular French collection. I'll be using the color from the French collection today for our live, okay? Okay, so my model has the French tip, and another thing that I'll be using that's going to be special is how to show you to cut with the V deep cut tool. Cái này là bằng sắc. So it's very easy to use, but there is a little bit of a technique while we're using this with the hypergel system. I did it with the V French and also with the straight edge. And then this is just a plain application. So at the end, we're going to show you how to just create this simple little design. Okay. Bây giờ Cindy um, sẽ prep cái nail bed, huh? Em sẽ cắt chút xíu trước. So we're going to go for like a long coffin shape. I'm using the stiletto tip and I love these tips because it's very versatile. Cái này mình muốn cho nó dài and thẳng thì cái này cũng xài được nữa. So it's really easy for us to transition from stiletto to the coffin with these tips. I don't really prep too much with the shaping because with the hypergel system, it's really easy to file. So be a muốn separate cái da với cái tip thôi chút xíu. So I don't really spend a lot of time right here to shape. But the most important part about the tap hypergel system is we definitely have to prep the nail bed really good. So nhớ là mình phải prep cái nail bed cho nó rất là kỹ ha. Tại vì phải mình không có prep kỹ thì nhớ nhìn cái bột nó sẽ hở. Okay, first step before I use my e-file is uh, trong cái kit của hypergel nó có cái pusher này. Cái này là kiểu là cuticle pusher. And this part here is with its material is a stone pusher. So it actually works a lot better than your metal pusher. So I'm gonna give you guys an example. So gonna have a cuticle pusher bentung. But if you just push with the metal pusher, you really don't get a lot of that dry skin. 
to be pushed back. So better off, we're gonna use the stone pusher. So cái này nó xài tốt hơn. Tại vì cái này nó phủ cho cái da push back, and it also preps the nail bed for you around the cuticle area, so that way you don't have to use the drill so close to the skin. I love using this tool when I'm doing like a dry manicure or even for gel polish. I like to push back the cuticle with the stone pusher first. My um, cut của Cindy nó xài tay của cổ nhiều lắm tại vì she does like um, a heavy duty occupation so she uses her hands a lot so you can see like there's a lot of cuticle built up so you can yeah go go mop ya rất là nhiều so we have to make sure that we do clean up the cuticle area push it back as much as we can with the tool and then we'll still use the drill to clean up also okay but this is the first step i like to do before i even start with my e-file Yes, hello everyone. Hello, Givan. Hello, Tina. Hello, Bao. Ciao. <laughs> if I don't say your name correctly, I'm sorry. I try to read Vietnamese. Um, Cindy Lau Roy, a Mỹ, nhưng mà không biết nói tiếng Việt, không biết đọc luôn. So, bốn năm nay em làm với nail job với ngân với mọi người ở trên cái Zuno team. Bây giờ cái tiếng Việt của Cindy nó rần chút xíu, nhưng mà Cindy chưa có biết đọc nữa. So I try my best to speak tri <laughs> bilingual. I say trilingual because I could do Chinese too, but I think most of our audience is English and understand English anyway. So I do a lot of my translation in English. Yeah, the more I work with Zuno and Nailstrap, the more I will practice my Vietnamese. Okay, so next step, Cindy said, Saga my yuo, dem yuo. Cuticle, huh? So I'm gonna use the medium sanding band. I already used it on the other hand a little bit, but these are disposable sanding band. So one time use. I'm gonna go in and really clean up the cuticle area. So chỗ này đó mình sẽ dũ cho nó rất là kỹ, huh? Cái này mình không có cần bỏ nhiều cái um the pressure. So very lightly, you just want to remove the shine from the nails. I'm not trying to put too much pressure onto the natural nail bed, but I want to make sure that I do sand the rest of the tip as well. Mình phải dũa ra cái đậu bấm trên cái um, cái móng giả luôn ha. And then I just prep the entire nail. Started at the cuticle first, and then the rest. Cái máy dũa của Cindy nó chạy rất là chậm ha mọi người Em không cần chạy cho nó rất là lẹ đâu With the gel product enhancements You don't really have to be so rough on the natural nails you, The goal is just to de-shine the surface Make sure you push back the cuticle area So that way you have a nice foundation for you to apply the rest of the product So anytime you see any lifting from the nail tip Make sure you smooth that out, okay? If you need to add more glue, you can do that also. Yeah, mình đừng có bỏ qua cái chỗ nào mà hở ha. And cái cuticle, mình sẽ push back. Cái này sẽ phụ cho cái hybrid gel nó dính chắc hơn. Everything that we use today is going to be a gel formula. So with gel, if you do not use the proper steps to prep the nail bed and also use the right application, then there's gonna be some lifting. So that's a really important thing that you need to focus on, that you can't rush through the service. Okay, I know that acrylic sometimes you can just quickly rough the nail bed and it doesn't matter and it will still stay on because the chemical and the bonding is so strong. But the hypergel system, it is a, a more natural product. Yeah, hybrid gel thì nó không có giống um, bột acrylic tại vì acrylic mình xài là liquid phải không? Liquid monomer nó rất là chắc and it's very strong for the bonding. You know, the liquid will adhere to the natural nail bed really strong. But with the hybrid gel system, if anybody's having problems lifting, uh, you want to check your prepping. Make sure that you do prep well and that everything is dehydrated. And if there's any cuticle around the nail bed that you want to clean that up as well. 
sầu phải mình cần á thì em sẽ lấy cái uh, cái cuticle nipper để em cắt chút xíu da. So if you have to remove any of the skin before, just to make sure that it's not on the nail bed, then you want to do that at this point because the hypergel is very simple process to apply. And if you apply it really nice and clean, then there's not a lot of filing. Yeah, they lack Cindy say đắp cái hypergel đó. Em không có cần vũ nhiều, tại em sẽ focus cái chỗ cuticle để cho mình đắp cho nó kỹ hơn kỹ hơn bình thường tại vì mình không muốn take time để mình vũ nhiều. All right, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of cuticle. Sometimes I don't have to do this part on some client, but any customer mà có da nhiều đó, any client that have a lot of skin, I want to just trim that away. Get this out of the way. <laughs> okay, so next step. After we do this, make sure there's not a lot of dust also. Okay, the hybrid gel system, cái này là nó có hai ba cái cái đầu um, sản phẩm thôi. So, first step is going to be the base gel. Cái này là primer, ye bonder. Tại có nhiều người hỏi xin đi phải bỏ thêm primer không? Um, mình không cần tại vì tap base gel á, mình formulate nó có primer, ye bonder trong cái hũ này rồi. So, you don't have to add an additional primer or a bonding agent before to dehydrate the nail bed. That's why it's really important that we prep the nail bed to be dry and clean before we use the first step, okay? Then we're gonna use the hybrid gel system. Today we're gonna use number six, come on, the nude pink. I love this color. I use this a lot for that darker natural nail bed. Cindy tích xài cái màu này, tại vì cái này nó cover cái nail bed nhiều hơn cái số ba hay số năm. Số số sáu em thích rất là nhiều. And also, when we finish everything, we're going to be using the top gel to seal and shine. Cái này nó sẽ seal cái hybrid. After we've been done summer, nó sẽ seal cái sticky layer. And then after we're done with everything, we're going to use this again to put the shine on the nails. Okay, để xin đi bỏ cái mắt kiến vô. Bây giờ già rồi, phải phải đeo mắt kiến. I'm just saying that I'm getting older. Well, not really older, but my eyesight is just getting worse. <laughs> I have kids too, and they already started wearing glasses when they were like six years old. So if you guys have the same issue with your children because of all the electronics they're using, you know what I mean. Yeah, so for Cindy not to wear glasses until I'm in my 40s, that's pretty good. Em làm nail khoảng 25 năm rồi, so definitely my eyesight is going pretty bad for 25 years of it, you know, doing close-up nail services. Okay, so I'm going to put the base gel all the way through. So I'm going to put the starting at the cuticle area, very close to the cuticle. Make sure you don't touch the skin because gel product, when it goes into the machine, it does do a little bit of swelling. So it's going to get very, very close to the cuticle area by itself. So, nhớ là mình sơn á, mình đừng có đụng da ha. Tại vì gel product nó vô mái nó sẽ hơ đèn, nó hơ đèn xong nó sẽ nở chút xíu. So, we don't want it to touch the skin. We want to get it really, really close. So, that way, when it does cure, then it's going to give you that little area for it to just swell up. Okay, so base gel, mình sẽ hơ đèn cho nó ba mươi giây. So make sure you guys use an LED lamp that is strong. Um, I recommend at least 48 watts for the LED light. If it's 24 watts or lower, you want to make sure that you cure it twice as long as I'm recommending. So there's some machines out there that are up to 78 to 84 watts or even higher. So definitely 30 seconds is enough. So remember, base gel, cure for 30 seconds. So hello everyone who is watching. Uh, Cindy, home good Thai comments. So I don't see anybody commenting or have any questions. That's a good thing. <laughs> that means everybody is watching right now and learning. Okay, so the color that I'm going to use is nude pink number six. Good night. It's MSEP. Light you a solution. So we're going to need our alcohol solution for the application. 
So a lot of people are confused about what kind of liquid or what kind of, you know, um, basically liquid that I'm using. So this is not your traditional acrylic liquid. Good night, like alcohol solution and good solution night. So you don't have to use something that is a special brand. Just make sure that it is 70% isoforphy alcohol. Did I say that right? <laughs> I can never pronounce this word, but I just call it rubbing alcohol. So remember just to get the 70% alcohol and you can find this at beauty supply store, uh, your drug, any kind of drug pharmaceutical store will have this. And remember to make sure it's 70 because if it's 90%, then that is too strong. 90% là nó nó cao quá ha mọi người. Đừng có xài 90 and they also make 50%. So 50% is not enough alcohol. So you see the amount of liquid that I'm using. And home cook can fill up the whole jar. So I just, you know, just like a little bit because that's all we need. And that's even too much already. But I don't want to waste my alcohol. Because after I'm done with one client, I'm going to just like throw this out. Okay, so the brush that we're going to use. Gonna add like a tap hyper gel brush. Come on. Um, this brush is designed specially for the hybrid gel system. So good night, I'm in that big lamp gel, hybrid gel. Cái sản phẩm này, tại vì cái cỏ nó không cần bự lắm. So you see that the brush is really, really thin. I accidentally put it into my um, my tube a little bit too fast. So then it kind of like made the brush messed up. But you can always fix that. Anytime your brush, this is, this is a good um, trick is anytime your brush is messed up from just wear and tear you could always use like super hot water soak it in there for like a minute and then the brush will come back to life it's almost like uh, cái tóc của mình đó, là mình rửa xong thì nó sẽ thẳng liền phải không so same thing with these natural hair brushes is you can always take care of them okay Cindy chiếc sau sẽ bỏ một lớp pink so this is our hyper gel product it comes in a tube. So the first thing I'm going to do is just apply it near the cuticle area. So Cindy said, bỏ cái, tại vì cái này đó, em sẽ làm một cái overlay. So this one is just a simple, basic overlay. So I'm going to just get enough for the whole nail. So I don't have to go in again. Okay, so em sẽ lấy cái cỏ em. Em lấy cái nước alcohol này. Em sẽ đè cái cỏ chút xíu thôi. So I'm going to focus around the cuticle area. Zoom in really good for you guys. So I'm saying, there's still pressure. So I'm gonna keep it away from the skin again because, like I said, the gel has a natural tendency to swell up when it's dry in the LED light. So you don't want to put it right onto the skin. You want to keep it away just a little bit. So I'm saying, đắp cho nó hơi hơi da cái da chút xíu ha, đừng cho nó đụng da. And then I'm gonna put use my brush and this rubbing alcohol to help me to keep the product from sticking to the brush. So cái nước alcohol này nó nó phụ cho cái cỏ nó không có dính bột ha mọi người. Cái này nó không có phải mình cần xài alcohol để cho cái um, cái uh, cái hybrid gel nó work better. So it's just the brush will help with the hybrid gel for it to just nicely smooth and cover the nails. So this helps you shape too. The brush is the main focus, uh, main tool that we use to help you apply the product. And the alcohol only helps the brush for not to stick to the hybrid system. Okay, so the next couple nail, we're gonna do the French cut. So this technique is really cool. So we're gonna not take as much. I'm gonna take enough for the side French if you need more product, you can always add more. So nhớ là lần nào mình cần add thêm á, mình mình chỉ là lấy thêm bột để lên thôi, mình không cần hơi đằng trước hay sao. So you want to just kind of like get enough product. If you have too much, you can always use it for the next nail. Yeah, so Cindy sẽ làm một cái halfway cut. So if you're really good and you want to do freehand, you can do that too. Phải mình không cần cái um, cái độ sắc để cắt á, thì mình uh, vẽ cái cái line right away. So you can use the brush to do that V cut as well. Or if you want to just be a little quicker, because I'm always about doing stuff faster and quicker. So I'm just going to apply what I need, and then take my V cut. 
So Cindy said, like a V cut, huh? So this is the V cut. This is many, you can do use this for many different techniques. So I'm just gonna use one long side like that. Get it wet with a little bit of alcohol. Did the wrong side, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. So I need this side, so I'm going to wet this side with the alcohol and then I'm going to just take the V and then I'm going to cut onto the gel. Okay, so that's going to help me get a nice straight cut using the V cutter. So I did a straight edge with the V cutter. The next nail I'm going to do the V French. So, cái này nó phụ cho em cắt cho nó rất là thẳng. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it like that, and then the next nail I'm gonna work on the French. So cái này mình không cần hơi đèn liền ha, tại vì cái này nó không có khô á, nhưng mà mình phải cẩn thận là nó không có bị đụng cái gì hết. Because if it's you know it's not dry yet, so if you do accidentally touch it, then it's going to get messed up again. You can cure one hand at a time. Phải mình mình xài Hybrid gel mình chưa có rành á, then em nghĩ là mọi người đắp một món, mình bỏ một món vô máy and then go for the other hand. So mình chuyển qua chuyển lại để nó không có bị messed up. So this one I'm gonna do like a deep V French, but I want to make sure I have enough product before I cut the French. So the important thing about the V cutter is it's very high on both sides. Nó hơi cao hai bên không này. And I'm gonna cut the V French. So we want to make sure we have enough product. And cái chỗ chính giữa đó mình đừng có làm cho nó mỏng quá ha. Okay, so again, I'm going to use my V cutter. So em sẽ lựa cái size nào nhưng mà nó nó vừa. So I'm gonna use probably cái size này ha. Cái này this one looks good. So I'm gonna wet the back side. So em sẽ Bỏ hai bên alcohol để cho nó không có dính cái đầu sắc. Okay. Turn it around. And then if you want to, you can put a little bit of your hand underneath the tip for to help with the pressure. And then find the middle. And then just push down. Angle it a little bit back and forth. And then mình cắt xuống. And it gives you a really clean cut. Isn't that beautiful? Cái chỗ này nó mình không cần... Uh, so on the tip, if it does have a little bit of the powder, it's not a big deal because we're going to cover that with the white. Okay, so next nail là em sẽ đắp wing mong ha. Okay, let me see. I have some questions right here. Oh, I have a lot of questions, but <laughs> can you guys um ask the type the question in uh, English for me, please? So yes, Tracy Fab asked, may I ask how much would you charge for hybrid gel to start out with? Uh, yes, Tracy has a good question. She asked, how much do I normally charge for hybrid gel set? If it's just a medium length set and one color, I would charge about 55 to $60, depending on your location. Um, if you're just a brand new salon that want to start recommending hybrid gel to your customer like an overlay you could even go 45 dollars for a full set it just depends on your time you know when we first start with the hybrid gel we, we get a little nervous if it's going to work if people going to like it so we don't want to charge too much just in case you know they feel like not comfortable with it yet but i honestly believe that once you start using hybrid gel in your salon you will fall in love with it just like i did because um your clients will see the big difference. And the big difference is that there's really no chemical smell and you feel really natural with this product on your nail bed. It's just like gel polish. Nó không có nặng gì hết, nó không có bị gọn quá. Yeah, um, Tracy hỏi là lần nào mình bắt đầu uh, service cái hybrid gel trong cái tiệm là mình muốn ăn khách bao nhiêu. So Cindy, I recommend that you at least start at 55. That's a fair price. That's like gel builder. Gel builder, we always start around fifty to fifty-five to sixty dollars for a full set. But if you go longer, then of course it's gonna, you know, you can charge more. Okay, so I hope I answered that question, Tracy. And Christina asks, "Hi, Cindy, is it okay if we use a lot of alcohol tapping at the cuticle? Does alcohol make the nails lifting easier?" Uh, so, Christina, the answer is you can use as much alcohol as you want when you're applying the products. See, I'm using a lot of alcohol. 
and then I could use it really, really dry as well. So the alcohol doesn't go into the hybrid gel and mix while you're applying. It it actually spits out the alcohol. It, it doesn't mix. It's, just, it's a, some sort of chemical balance that it does by itself. So I could use as much alcohol as I want to apply to smooth out the nail, or I can use it dry. It doesn't matter. But when you use it dry, your brush is going to stick to the product. Yes, uh, yes, we can fill with the hybrid gel system. It's very similar technique to when you fill with acrylic powder. So when they come back for a fill, you're just going to prep the entire nail bed, you know, take off all the old gel and designs and prep the entire nail bed, smooth it out. If anything lifts, you're gonna remove that part and then file that and then apply the base gel from the beginning. If it lifts a lot, then you can put a little bit of glue to seal it and then file it smooth before you apply the base gel. You don't want anything to lift before you put the base gel over it, okay? And again, if you guys are having a lot of lifting problem, check your prep work. Make sure that you prep it really good before you even start with the base gel. That's the first step to the hybrid gel system. Yeah. Okay, so yes, uh, Cindy, do we do? Jinya asks, uh, if we do this nail, how can we take off the gel? So the good thing about hybrid gel là cái 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 tốt của hybrid gel là, là mình tháo da, mình xuất vô acetone được. Cái này mình không cần tháo mỗi lần, nhưng mà lần nào mình muốn tháo da đầm bộ mới đó, you can soak this in acetone just like a acrylic system or dipping system, very very similar, or soak off gel. Any product that is able to soak off, you just soak it off in acetone. You make sure that you drill it really thin first. Nhớ là mình phải dùn cho nó mỏng một chút ha. And then we soak it into the acetone. Okay, so this is a good shape for me. So I'm going to turn this around. And then mình ước hai bên này ha. So you're going to wet both sides. That way the metal doesn't stick to the hybrid gel. Because you know the hybrid gel is not going to dry air dry is going to remain wet until we cure. So you see how I'm rocking back and forth and I'm look up gives you and then we just push down. Beautiful. So it gives you a really nice clean cut. So make sure you guys practice a little bit first when you're doing the V cut with this tool because it is a different kind of a a product. You know like see how right here I left I have not cured any of my nails yet so it's going to still be wet so make sure you check everything before you put it back into the dryer you can always do the thumb first and then the pinky is up to you it doesn't really matter how you do it or you could do a couple nails and then cure it and then come back okay so now i'm going to cure this into the light can i see you okay put that into the light so hybrid gels you do have to cure this for one minute Base gel, cure for 30 seconds. Cái này mình hơi đèn 30 giây, nhưng mà hybrid gel thì mình sẽ hơi đèn cho nó 60 giây hả? So one minute. Yes, uh, Jay Han, we can feel with the hybrid gel. So let's say, uh, cut nó trở lại đó, nhưng mà nó không muốn màu này nữa. Nó muốn màu khác. Thì nhớ nhiên mình rũ cho nó mỏng, thì là mỏng. And then we just feel whatever color they want. If they want to change the color or the design completely, we have to make sure that we cover it with something that is darker. So nhóm, uh, nhóm mình đắp bột đi. Mình đắp màu trắng. And then nó muốn vô, nó muốn làm màu blue, ha, màu pink. Nhớ nhiên mình là mình phải rũ hết, or rũ cần hết cái màu cũ để mình đắp cái màu mới lên để cho nó không có bị uh, show through. So the same thing with the hybrid gel system. I love that everybody's asking a lot of questions. Dạ cảm ơn mọi người để um, hỏi nhiều câu giống vậy ha tại vì em biết là nhiều người đang xài hybrid gel nhưng mà chưa có biết cái nhiều cách để xài cho nó more creative and with design. So I love to share all the techniques. So if you guys have questions, please make sure you ask. That's what we're here for. And I try to do a live every Thursday so that way we can share with each other different technique. Yes. 
Okay, so if you guys want to make this line a little bit more perfect, which I like to do sometime, if it gets a little blurry, then like a yule, then you toy. So this is an option. You know, if you're like a perfectionist like me, you're probably gonna do this because you wanna make sure everything is nice and sharp. But if you're really good and fast, you might not have to do this. So I just fold, you know, come out a little bit more sharp before I put my, do my next step. Okay, so, so I'm gonna show you guys how to encapsulate these beautiful flower and it's a very simple technique to do. Okay, so em say like a mouth jang. If you have gel polish, that is a nice white, thick gel polish, you can use it right out of the bottle. I know that uh Gogh Line Art, that is also white color. So if you have the the line art that is the color white or whatever color you want, you can also use that liner. So you could just take from straight from the bottle. And I'm gonna take my white gel polish and I'm just going to polish directly onto the clear area. And this will give me a nice little foundation. So you get any on the skin, don't worry. That's why it's nice to work with the line art because the line art is my om yom yom sorry but I send you home got a line art gel I didn't bring my line art I took it to another studio and I forgot to bring it back okay so anyway you can use just a regular pure white gel polish uh, make sure that it's a thick one so you can only so you go over it only one time if you have a thin white or any any polishes that is not really pigment you can just go over it a couple of times not a big deal Okay, so I'm, I'm going to make sure that I get my corners. Yeah, mình sẽ bỏ một lớp mỏng thôi. Đây mình sẽ hơi đen. Okay, so this is going to help me create a nice bright foundation for the flowers. Yeah, if you have powder, you want to just brush off the powder. It's not a big deal. Okay, em sẽ sưng hai bên. Yeah, cái màu trắng của um, cái, cái sản phẩm Zerno nó rất là tốt. It's so pigment. I love this polish. I use this a lot for French manicure too. Make sure you use a nice quality product when you guys are using with the the hybrid gel. So because hybrid gel, the gel foundation, you can mix with a lot of different products. You can mix with the gel polish. You can mix with nail art glitter um you can have you know like my nail and boss seashell so go ahead and put this so we're going to dry this for 30 seconds see so mọi người có thấy cái nail của Cindy không? i have seashell in here and then i use a little bit of marble ink so gonna have a liquid marble ink so you could encapsulate with that and this one is the snake skin with foil and i use a little bit of foil design on top gonna have a matte and shiny so you could do so many different things with the hyper gel system okay so after the cure so before i add the dry flower primer of the base gel and the base gel is going to help me apply the dry flowers on there because right now it's a little bit too dry and I want to give it some sort of cushion so my flowers can stay into the nails before I encapsulate. So I'm saying that you new, huh? So not too thin because you want to have a little bit of a base cushion. So you see, I don't really care about how smooth the white is because I'm going to cover it anyway. So you don't have to be too careful about that part. Okay, I'm got sang ở đây nè, có bông khô. So I have some dry flowers and some foil that I already separated. Okay, so em sẽ bỏ, em sẽ lấy cái cỏ. Tại cái cái cỏ nó hơi dính chút xíu, because I have a little bit of the um, hybrid gel on my brush. I can just go ahead and pick it up and add my flower, and it helps me stick the flowers really easy. So I'm gonna just put some flowers here and there. So this is called dry flower encapsulation with the hybrid gel system. Okay. If you want to, you can also add some gold flake 
yeah so be your mandeco flick luôn ha so you can really put anything that you want just like acrylic i want to tell everyone that whatever you can do with acrylic you can do with hybrid gel it's just a different system okay good night em sẽ bỏ một cái bông khô lớn so this one i'm gonna put a little bit of a bigger flower I'm gonna see if I could bend it a little bit. Để cho nó dính vô cái base gel. Okay. I'm gonna encapsulate everything with gel polish. I mean a uh, hybrid gel clear. So cái này nó không muốn dính nhiều. So I'm gonna just go ahead and have her put in the light really quick. Flash care for me while it stick. Flash care. So lần nào mình để cái bông nó hơi nó muốn um, hở lên á thì mình kêu khách bỏ vô đèn mấy giây thôi and then it'll help you to lay it down okay so that's a trick that you can also do because when the base gel has a little bit of dryness it's going to remain sticky and then you could push down the flower for it to stay on a little bit better okay go ahead and clear that one a little bit more okay so we're going to do one more nail uh ruby nguyen asks can we use dual form for hybrid gel yes ruby um Ruby nói, Ruby hỏi là mình xài cái dual form. If you guys don't know what a dual form is, that is a tip that is made of plastic, but it's very re resilient because the plastic tip is reusable. So cái dual form nó không có dính theo cái bộ. I know some people can do it with a acrylic system too, but you can definitely do that with a hybrid gel. Uh, xin điều không có show cái technique của dual form nhiều tại vì em biết là nhiều người trong tiệm nó không có xài dual form nữa but um, I will post a video on how to do a, an application with the dual form because it is kind of cool the way that it works it's very unique and that's more like a DIY that's like doing it by yourself for your own nails that technique okay so I'm going to put this in the dryer a little bit for 30 seconds So after I'm done with my flowers, I'm going to use my clear hybrid gel to encapsulate all the French area. I still got my alcohol solution. And yes, uh, J Tram Hoila, do you like doing hybrid gel or acrylic better? If you guys ask me anytime if I like to do hybrid or acrylic, I'm gonna tell you hybrid gel because I haven't touched acrylic ever since I use hybrid gel system. Um, em không có đụng vô alcohol, uh, uh, cái gì? acrylic nữa rồi tại vì lần đầu Cindy xài xong cái, cái hybrid gel đó em rất là thích tại vì cái này nó không có mùi như nó dễ xài hơn and also I don't have like you know the biggest the biggest difference is the smell I'm just so sick of the chemical smell that I smell for so many years and you know honestly it gave me a lot of headache And the older we get, I think the more we worry about our health. So I'm not saying that acrylic is bad. It is a really good product still. And, you know, the formula is way better than what it used to be. They, you know, Cindy, I'm going to do it So for 20 years, I use acrylic every day. And I didn't even know the difference. But when I started using hybrid gel, I could definitely know the difference with my health, my headache, uh, my, you know, I don't get as tired. I think it's because there's less chemicals that I'm inhaling every day. And you know, I can still do everything with, as far as design with hybrid gel. So, and then also another thing is when I teach my students how to use hybrid, they love it too, because it's so much easier to learn. Good night, this is yes, I hung so on the Cindy Yai, Hobina, when they teach my student how to use this, they get it right away. Because they don't have to worry about the nails drying or caring or, you know, we don't have to shape so much afterwards we're done. So definitely I love the hybrid gel. And if you ask any of my clients, my customers that used to use acrylic, they also love hybrid gel too. Is that right, Cheyenne? <laughs> I have my customer right here. She's been uh, loyal to me and I was away for vacation for almost two weeks and her and her mom wanted to get their nails done again but they had to go to a local salon that only did acrylic and they really noticed the difference between getting hybrid gel and getting acrylic nails so they said never again Cindy we just wait for you <laughs> so that's why you know salons that are 
out there, you definitely want to add this to your salon service. Add the hybrid gel system. Tại vì có nhiều khách bây giờ nó đang đòi cái loại uh, gel này. Yeah, nó, nó đi tìm nó đi tìm cái uh, cái sản phẩm này or cái technique này. And then if your salon doesn't have it, of course they're just gonna go somewhere else. So you do want to add the service into your salon. Yes, hello everyone for watching. Um, uh, Vivian or Ortiz, you ask, do you charge more? Uh, Vivian, it's up to you. If you feel like you know this technique is very new and this is something very exciting for your customers to do that is different and it's definitely much healthier. You know, in the beginning, it's going to take you a little bit more time to get used to the technique. Then go ahead and charge more. I charge about $10 more than I would for between this and acrylic because acrylic is already so popular. It's, it's everywhere. Everybody does it. Every salon knows how to do it. So if you have something that is unique and you know better for your client then definitely charge more you know at least ten dollars more so that way you can cover the cost of the product your initial investment you mind uh sydney nghĩ là cái hybrid gel system này nó không có mắc hơn bột acrylic đâu tại vì bột acrylic mình, mình phải invest a lot with the color and the glitter and all the different you know powder that's out there and then when you every time you use with the liquid monitor and the application, you waste a lot of product with the acrylic system. But if you see my station right now, mọi người có thấy cái cái bàn của Cindy không? Em không có uống cái phí nào hết. So I don't even have any mess on my table because this product is super, super clean. And, you know, if you think it's an expensive product, it really isn't because you don't have any waste. You use everything 100%. You get used to it, just like everything. When we first did gel polish or we did dipping, we're not used to it, right? So we complain a lot that it's too hard, it's too, it's too different. Nobody's gonna want it. But look, now every salon out there offer dipping. Okay, so Susan Valencia, is the hybrid gel similar to poly gel? That's a very good question, Susan. Uh, Susan Hoy, like a hybrid gel, no young poly gel come. So let me explain to you guys. I don't have the poly gel here with me, but you see the name here is said hybrid gel. If you look at another brand, like just say for instance, Gelish or IBD, they call their formula poly gel. So it's exactly the same thing, but every company, every manufacturer is gonna have a different formula. So get formula của tap, hybrid gel của mình á nó mềm hơn, nó dễ bóp hơn, nó dễ xài hơn. So I know that with the poly gel, it's the same type of product, but the one that they call poly gel is a little bit thicker and harder, and you really have to squeeze a lot to get it out from the tube. So just to clarify you, the formula that we use is just smoother and easier to apply. And that's why we call it a hybrid, because it's a hybrid between like gel polish, uh, gel builder and powder. So poly gel is going to add, it's going to have more of the powder formula. That's why it's going to be thicker and harder to use. So I hope that makes sense. Thank you so much, Vivian. I hope you try this too. Okay. I see a lot of people watching from all over the world because I can see the different comment and the, the name. I could recognize it's from everywhere. So let me know what, what country you guys are watching from. Like you Cindy big la live good nails job is you guys are from all over the place. So that's really exciting. Okay, so the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal the sticky layer. So be your says seal, huh? Can I am juga sum you my emu seal gado sticky? You see here there's that inhibition layer that we call it. And that is caused from the curing lamp and the gel um, formula to where it just sets. So with the sticky layer, you want to seal that with the top gel. And this is going to help you while you shape and file the nails. Because if it's a sticky surface and you use your drill bit, of course the drill bit is going to be all messed up. It's going to be sticky and it's going to be hard for you to run it smooth. So if that happens, sometimes if you forget to seal the the nails before you shape, then you just have to remove the bit and soak it into the alcohol and it'll take away all that 
powder that's stuck inside the bits, okay? Yeah, mình phải seal cái, cái đầu sticky trước sau mình dũa bằng mái. Phải mình lấy cái đầu dũa bây giờ đó, mình chưa có seal đó, thì nó sẽ bị dính ha. Nó làm khó cho mình. And this also kind of protects any, in you know, uneven layer for you before we shape the nail bed. Oh my God, I got people from Norway. That's amazing. From Australia, from Canada. Hello, hello, Tram from Canada. That's amazing. Norway, do you use this product yet? I know you guys probably use Polygel, so you're very familiar with this, right, Jasmine? And then I have people from UK watching. Look at that, you're famous now, Cheyenne. <laughs> Okay, so after we cure this for 60 seconds, I can shape the nails now. So I'm just gonna use a 100-100 grit file. This is a very strong file. It's great because it's gonna make my shaping really fast, but you can use like 120 to 180 grit. Um, cái, uh, cái sản phẩm của Hybrid đó nó mềm hơn bột nhiều. So cái này mình không cần dũ cái máy, hay dũ cái, uh, cái file mà bén quá, nhưng mà xin thích cái file này tại vì nó shape cho mình rất là lẻ. I love using this one just because I want to cheat a little bit and go faster. But you can use 120 to 180 grit. Okay, so I'm going to shape both sides. Make sure you hold on to the edge so that way you don't move the custom the client's fingertips too much. Because I'm putting, you know, a little bit of pressure. Yeah, good thing. It's so much easier to shape with the hybrid gel. I remember doing acrylic all day, have like 10, 15 clients, and after I just want to die. I just want to go to a massage, you know, studio and sit there for two hours and get like body work. But with the hybrid, I feel like I don't get as tired. Definitely easier to shape and file. And also when you take this off, it's also easier and faster to remove because the product will melt a lot quicker than acrylic. Okay, and say you order not just. So I'm just using a parallel technique, straight up and down. I used the stiletto tip, but I'm used. I'm doing a coffin shape for her nails. So far, do you guys like this design? Do you see that is a pretty easy system to work with, right? Okay, I'm going to just shape both sides. Even before I used the e-file, it already looks pretty good. So that's why I say focus around the cuticle area. Don't um, apply it on the skin. Don't apply it on the skin. Để mình uh, bây giờ mình dũa đó nè, dễ dũa hơn. Xin đi sẽ xài cái safe, cái smooth bit này. So if you guys don't have this bit yet, you have to get it. It's really, really nice because it's a five in one bit that is great to use around the cuticle area and for the entire nail as well. And it smooths out the product really easy. So Cindy says start. Good job, cuticle jug. So I'm just gonna file a little bit around the cuticle area, make sure that none of the product overlap on the skin. This gel has a little bit of a self-level reaction, so it doesn't leave a lot of bumps, which I like. As long as you take the time to apply it good, then you won't have a lot of problems while you're shaping okay this bit is nice too because it's nice and thin around the cuticle area around the tip so that way I can see really close around the cuticle area where I'm shaping okay I just file up and down because it's easier when the nail is longer So remember, so you do need some to have some body on the nails. You don't want to make it too thin. So if you know a client is going to be very rough 
with their nails, you want to build them a little bit more body right here on the top. So that way they don't break the nails while they wear them. Because this nail can last for about three weeks before they come back for a fill. So you know, mình đừng làm cho nó mỏng quá ha. If you just do like a really short overlay, of course you can do it as thin as you like to. So when I file the top of the nail, it's gonna now expose that beautiful French white cut that I did earlier. I'm so you can I see you have been home now. Now this is a really nice bit, so make sure you guys get one of these. A little bit back. Yes, let me see some of the comments. So Kelly Nguyen asks, how much for this set? I would charge at least 95 to 125 for this set because I'm going to finish off with uh, diamonds and a little bit more nail art on top. But if you're a salon that's just starting, don't be afraid to charge a minimum $75 for this nail art, okay? Because from start to finish, it's going to still take you about an hour, an hour and a half when you're beginning. So whatever you charge for acrylic designs that looks like this, just add another $10 to $15 more. But nowadays, because, you know, I'm nice to my client, I charge everybody the same. <laughs> like if you want a full set or a fill with design, no matter what, I just charge basic $75. Just because, you know, they know that they're going to get a lot of designs with it. But if you're a famous nail artist and you're popular and you charge your client, you know, $75 to $100, then you could charge them $10 to $15 more for hybrid gel. We have a lot of popular nail artists now. I see on Instagram, you know, everybody's so creative and, you know, with all the different products that's out there you can really do some beautiful custom nail art okay and so you have been calm night huh so start with the basic full set minimum short length at 55 to 60 dollars and then you go up from there depending on how much work and how much design that you put into the service okay so somebody let's see tommy nguyen comment back in back to 20 years ago i do builder gel this is so much better i agree with you tommy 100 <laughs> percent 20 years ago so you're, we're probably the same age tommy yeah 20 years ago i used to do builder gel too but i never liked it because you know you, you you have to flip the nail upside down and clients don't listen to you and then the gel drips all over the place and you have to do one nail at a time so definitely hybrid gel is so much easier. But the price for hybrid gel is similar to builder gel. So if you guys have a, a price list for builder, just add hybrid gel in there and charge the same. Yes, Jasmine said she uses IBD gel. So make sure you try this, Jasmine. You're gonna love this um, nail system because it's so much easier than builder gel. So I'm just going to buff the top a little bit. You see that I didn't spend a lot of time to shape because I was able to apply the product good. So you don't have to be too careful or too gentle because this is a very sturdy product. Hyper gel in the check lump. Okay, MC. You had buffed it. So you can have your customer wash their hands with soap and water. Or if you're just sitting in the station, you can also just clean it with some uh, alcohol as well. So I'm so full boy. So let me take off the dust. And then we're just going to use a little bit of alcohol to clean the nail bed. And then bought a kang mai that you know be yin boy. I just use a different towel because I don't want the dust to get everywhere. Okay, hello everyone who's coming to watch right now. Uh, yes, Jay Tran Lee asks every time hand and gel machine go how long? Uh, 
Trang, Trang, I will put the step by step on the live, but for base gel is 30 seconds and for hybrid gel is 60 seconds. And for the clear top, it's going to also be 60 seconds. So just remember 30, 60, 60. Just like gel polish, you need like 60 seconds for each layer. Some machines take 30 seconds, but if you guys are afraid it's not going to cure, just you can go 60 seconds minimum, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna clean off the nails with a little bit of alcohol. I used the same alcohol that was in my jar, so I really don't waste anything at all. So this number I'm using is number six, nude pink. It's a very good number, good color for a lot of different skin tone. Ooh, that is gonna be so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of gold flick onto the nails. Let's see, clean it a little bit better. I'm clean up soon. There's so much powder here. <laughs> I'm kind of um, ano. Is that how you say it? Ado? I hate powder. Usually I have my dust collector. dust collector. suck up the dust while I'm working. But today, because I want to make sure you guys hear me, I didn't use it. <laughs> All right, so Vivian, I can't find it on your website. Uh, Vivian, we'll post the link to the website of the product as soon as I'm done, okay? And then Tram asks, does hypergel become gluey after we soak it in acetone? Uh, yes, um, in the process of soaking the hypergel in acetone, it's going to get more like a gummy look. And then you just file it off with the nail file or the drill. It's not going to melt away or disappear, okay, when you soak it off for uh, a new set or to remove these. So just remember that. It kind of looks like almost, um, I would say, like dipping powder. You know, like when you do dip powder, so it kind of looks like that, and then you just have to file the rest of it away. Okay, gonna the top gel be a moon ball and that you mean seal the nail and shine nails also. But before that, I'm going to add a little bit of foil for the design. This is a very clean look that we're doing today. Normally, I love to add a lot of color, a lot of marble, a lot of different technique, but I try to go simple. For me, this is simple. For a lot of people, this is really crazy. All right, so we have a couple basic colors. So I'm gonna take my foil here. This is gold leaf. I already took my um, tweezer to break it up because the gold leaf, they come very, in a lot of big pieces. So Cindy, like I am, um, like a nipper. So how I break it up usually is I just take my something metal because then that way it doesn't stick as much. And then um, set, break up the pieces. Because these come in a lot of thick pieces and many layers in them. So if you just grab it from the container, it's going to be a big mess. So I want to make sure that I break them into a lot of little pieces first. Okay. And then take my tweezer and then just put it where I want it. So I have top gel on her nails right now, and that's good enough to for me to pick up the foil and put it on wherever I need it. So foil is very fragile, so you don't really need a lot, but it goes a long way. That's why one jar can last you forever. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do this one opposite direction. So I'm saying, but I'm gonna give you, huh? So. I'll do one little line in the middle. I'm just picking up with my tweezer. The tweezer has a little bit of the clear on it, so it helps it stick. Okay, so I basically have to say, "Hop swang lang, em se say chup siu, em se de lan tap jiao le de joy," because I'm not using really big crystals. I'm just using little tiny ones and little beads. I'm just going to go ahead and put it onto with this top gel and then cure it. 
and it should be good enough to stay. But I'm going to also seal it one more time. I'm going to seal it one more time. So I'm just going to pick up my little diamonds. If you guys have a stone picker, that works really good as well. Because the tweezers sometimes it takes a little longer. Yeah, I'm going to say good wax, huh? Good wax picker. It's so much faster with this one. So if you guys have a wax picker, then that's awesome because it really helps with the picking up the crystals quicker. So the wax picker just picks up the crystals. I'm going to go back just a little bit. And then I can put it on and go. Yeah, if you're not using very big crystals, you can apply right on top of the top gel. The hôm sau, tại vì cái top gel nó có một cái cushion nó hơi đặc chút xíu thì nó không có làm cho cái crystal move around. So here I want to make sure that I do clean up my size. Tại lần nào mình để nó lâu á, cái top nó sẽ qua một bên. Okay, so then em bỏ chút xíu ở đây nữa. So I could continue to add a little bit of crystal and design here. You can use glue gel for your crystal as well. But since my diamond is not a whole lot, I'm just going to go ahead and use it with the clear on the bottom. So pretty. Okay. I love these little gold beads too. I'm going to look like a flat bed. So these are not the regular beads. These are a little, it's more like flat metals. So lays really nice. Okay, and then Cindy said, "Bought you see what nine, So one more nail. It's nice because I could design the whole set almost before I put it into the light. Come on. <laughs> yep, you have to use the wax tool. That works the best. Okay, and said that you see what's on today. We would do a pink one. They don't match 100%, but it's okay. My customers love that nothing ever matches anymore. Okay, so I'm saying, So I'm just going to put whatever I feel like onto the nail. That's why this set can cost about 125 because all the time that we put in there, you know, to do these designs, it really it looks custom. And no one else is going to have the same nails as she does. So they love to, you know, that it's worth it. Maybe they don't love to pay that price, but they know that it's definitely worth it. If you guys take the time to do an excellent job for your client. Okay, so be your MC clean up high bun calm night. They make sure no hong be chai mok bun. Because the clear is not super thick. All right, and then we're going to cure this into the light for 60 seconds. And say, boy, dang, some Okay, let's see if anybody has any more questions. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Make sure you guys come back every Thursday to uh, Nails Job Live so I can show you guys how to use the um, hybrid gel system, okay? I have a question from Han. Yes, is the drill bit sharp and one you just use? What kind is it? The drill bit that I was just using is called a smooth bit. Let me show you. So this one is uh, called a smooth bit. It's a five in one. So if you see, it starts off as finer and then it gets to medium coarse and then extra coarse at the end. And this is also um, a two way drill bit. So you can go forward and you can go backwards. So for you left handed nail tech, you can use this and for right handed as well. So this is, I will also put the link on this bit that I use after I post the video. Yes. Okay, so now that we've done it with both hands, I want to show you guys the finished look. Isn't that lovely? When you go to home, it's so natural and ding and you know, this color is a great color for many different skin tone. I use it a lot as well. I have it on my nails too. So I'm just going to put a little bit of oil. So we finish off everything right now. And if you want to make sure that you seal it really good, just put one more top coat over the whole nail. That way um, it doesn't come off, okay? So we're gonna finish this off, but I wanna say thank you everyone for watching. I hope you guys visit us again. And yeah, let me go Facebook.
Facebook group Gila Tap Hybrid Gel Nails. So I'm going to put our new Facebook link also on the video, which is a new Facebook page that we created just for hybrid gel nails and different techniques and inspiration. So you guys can follow us there and I will be posting more and more videos and tutorials. And also I will send all the link that with the products that I use today on her nails for you guys to check it out. And if you guys have any nails that you've done with hybrid gel, please share in the group with us. We love to see the designs that you can create with a hybrid. Okay, so I'm gonna let her dry one more time in the dryer for 60 seconds, but we're gonna say goodbye now and we hope to see you guys again. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. See you next time.